Hello guys and welcome. It's Engineering Rebel and this is going to be the final update on my engine. And so in this video, I'm going to share what I've done to it since the day that I finished the build and wrap up the last video series on this engine. And I'll also tell you guys the future for this engine. And maybe even at the end, I'll run it. So let's begin. So I'm sure you guys remember originally when I built this engine, it would actually sit on its side. So the shaft would go that way and not on its side. Now I did this because having the engine lie on its side is just much harder to run and it would vibrate about and it would just be very dangerous. So putting it on its side and mounting it with these two L-shaped brackets makes it much easier. I attached my fuel tank to the side of the engine by using a bracket and I connected it to the block. I also fed this black piece of tube to the carburetor and this is what mixes a little bit of oil with the gas in order to lube the cylinder walls. So in order to have it stand up like this and run, if I had just flipped the engine on its side originally with the fuel tank going vertically, all the fuel would have spilled out. So what I did was I turned the fuel tank so it's, it's like this, had the paint stripped off to make it much more durable. And I also got a new carburetor because the previous carburetor's injection nozzle was clogged up with some sort of goo that I just couldn't get cleaned up. And when I flipped my fuel tank over, now that it's sitting like this, there isn't enough clearance. So I just added this tube here and made it a little bit further. So the after effects of this is that instead of pressing this button three times to prime it, you gotta press it six times. I also put this L-shaped galvanized tube to have the exhaust go that way away from people so people don't get hurt. And finally, I put this ground wire here and when you put it on this piece of metal, what it'll do is that it'll ground the spark plug so the spark won't spark anymore and the engine will cut out. So I decided to donate this engine to my school because I thought that that this engine might have a better future with other students improving on it. I would love to see students in the future, maybe even adding a turbo to this thing, improving it, making it even better. And plus at home, I don't have anywhere to put it or any other uses. So I think that this is a perfect candidate to be continued with another student. So as I said in a video, I'm gonna run this engine for the last time so you guys can see officially how it performs. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. It's been an amazing journey with this engine. More awesome videos are to come and I will see you guys in the next one.